Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's me, Derek, and we're going to have another one of our bi-weekly weight loss videos where we talk about how much weight I've lost since the surgery. This makes the fourth time I've tried doing this today, so hopefully we get this right this time. Um, anyways, uh, last time we talked was sitting around 314, 315 pounds. As of this week, I'm around 308, 309, just depending you know, if I eat or drink. Which I'm still not eating much. I've been doing really well. I have I haven't ate any uh, junk food or anything like that. I barely I hardly eat anything really. I drink a lot of protein shakes, um, and what I do eat is usually pretty small. It's usually you know meats, proteins, uh, salads, stuff like that, stir fry, and uh, and so small portions, which is awesome because. Prior to me having a surgery, I was going to fast food restaurants, just eating like four or five burgers from the dollar menu. and Or I would go to Burger King and get there two for six and get these big giant Whoppers and eat those or two foot longs at a time. Um, and that was bad. That was really bad. And I can't do that anymore, which is great. I still haven't touched any soda. I haven't touched any carbonation, no beer. I ha I still I'm I'm afraid to touch alcohol because I don't know how the that will affect me, which I'm going to try that later on because I do have um liquor that I like. I can't drink beer. I know I can't drink beer, but I have a big bottle of absinthe that I like to keep. And anyways, yeah. But yeah, so far we're sitting around 308, 309 pounds, which uh we're almost at the almost 40 pounds lost at this point. Now, if you're going by the couple of weeks prior to the surgery, I was 367. And the day before, I was 346. So I lost a lot of water weight between those two weeks until the surgery. So we, you can probably just say, you know, we've lost more than that, maybe 60 pounds. But I'm going to just say 40 from now because I'm just going to count the day before the actual surgery. Because that's where I kind of marked it. Now, the weight I'd like to be at by maybe a year or a year and a half after this, I'd like to be anywhere between 185 and 200 pounds. That seems to be my sweet spot because I'm a big bone dude. I'm huge. I'm a huge boy. I'm a thick boy. And I'm always going to be a thick boy. But I can already tell my weight loss is it's pretty great. I'm no longer on insulin. I, my, uh, blood pressure medicines halved, um, and there's other, other couple of medicines that's been taken off, which is great because you guys know me, I take a crap ton of pills, like once in the morning, once in the evening, and there's usually a whole bunch of them and I hate doing that. So those are going away. Uh, my sugar's regulated. My, um, <laughs> I haven't had any problems with my chest as of late. Uh, my anxiety is still there. My depression is still there. But that's something I got to work with in time. That that will eventually get better. Maybe. I, I don't know. It might not get better. Uh, as of right now, too, I'm looking for a new job. Um, COVID took my last job. And it's kind of hard to find anything right now with hiring full time. Um, and, you know, that kind of sucks. But I'll find something. Something will come along. And hopefully something good. I didn't get the job at the post office, obviously. Um, I made it all the way up to their hiring hiring list, and I guess they chose somebody else, which that's that's okay too. Uh, there's been a lack of Pokemon unboxings for the last week or two. Um, there's no new sets out. Uh, we do have Vivid Voltage coming out. That's in November. I was finally able to. Pre-order the Shiny Star V Japanese sets. So we'll have two of those in November and two of those in December. Uh, see, we also have Champions Path Marnie set. We have the reprints of Hidden Fates on the ETVs. And we also have Champions Pass the ETV. So I'll be able to get those two. And we'll do some unboxings and some Pokemon cards. Now I have been buying random packs. And I've, you know, I've done okay. I've been having... Some okay pulls. Most of it's abysmal. And I'm going to be, a, be telling you the truth. You know, I, I pull some crap as of late. But uh, today I pulled some pretty decent things. Um, we are currently trying my best. Trying my best to get our streams up and running. 
Um, I'm trying to get on a more regular schedule. I uh, talk a lot, um, playing a lot of Among Us, and right now we're playing uh, Alien Isolation, which is a game I haven't beat, and I bought it when it first came out. I just never went back and beat it before, so you know, this time I'm I'm hoping I can beat it. Um, yeah, that's really about it. There's not a whole lot that's been going on as of late. Um, See what what else what else have I been doing? I'm going through my backlog. I'm, I'm right now I'm playing Silent Hill Two. Almost at the end of that. Um, I got my PlayStation, my Xbox that's ready to be picked up. We'll do some unboxings of those. We'll talk about give a review on both systems when they rose come out. Um, we got some big games coming out. We got Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. We have Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, see what else? Watch Dogs Legion. And I don't know of anything else. Oh, Cyberpunk. How can I forget Cyberpunk 2077? How did I forget that? That's crazy. That's craziness. Yeah, Cyberpunk's coming out. And we are going to stream some Cyberpunk. I guarantee it we are. But yeah, yeah it's been pretty good. Uh, life's been okay. Um, we went and seen Rocky Horror Picture Show live um, last week. That was pretty cool. Never been to a live showing of that. Uh, it was wild, and there was a whole lot more people in this area that went than I expected. Um, everybody was socially distanced, which is great. Um, I didn't get sick. And I don't think anybody else did. The uh, Shadowcast performers, they did a great job. We got to meet Barry Boswick, which played Brad. Um, he was there. And, yeah, it was, it was a pretty cool thing. So... I'll leave it at that. Uh, we'll try again here in two weeks or so. We'll have some more videos coming out prior to that. But in two weeks, we'll do a weight loss video, and we'll see where we stand. Hopefully, by then, we'll be out of the 300 Club. That would be amazing. Fingers crossed. If you haven't already, feel free to hit that follow button, smash the subscribe button, and head over to twitch.tv forward slash bits and pieces PT. And be sure to hit follow there. I definitely would appreciate it. We're almost at the 200 mark on YouTube and the 300 mark on Twitch. So let's keep on keeping the channels going and hopefully good things happen. I'll see you guys soon.